Trigon Fatima Boys, Trigon. From the moment that we entered through those gates into that hallowed space, we strived for excellence and we were taught that nothing less than the best. And that's why the Hall of Achievement is so important. That the young man entering Fatima College today sees that there are those who have gone before him. Those who like him entered into that space in that gray and khaki and, and lived there and did excellence there and learned there how to strive for excellence. That they have gone before. And we who have been inducted into the Hall of Achievement, we entered into that space and we went for excellence inside Fatima College we learned. And now those who are inducted are there to help the young man enter to see that those who went before him, they went for excellence, nothing less. And all inducted in the Hall of Achievement says that in every sphere of life, in society, in religion, in, in politics, in, in every sphere of, of human endeavor, there are Fatima men who went for excellence and would accept nothing less than the best. And so for those of you who now have the privilege of being in Fatima College today, as you see the Hall of Achievement, and as you look at us who have been inducted already, remember that you too have been called to greatness. And the heights of greatness, the heights of greatness, is when one day you will be with God forever. Strive for nothing less than that. Father, we ask that your blessings upon us as we induct new people into this hall of achievement. That your blessings upon us, O oh God, may remind us always that it is through your grace that we achieve, through your grace that we have reached to where we are, and it is through your grace that we strive for excellence every moment of every single day. We ask, Lord, a blessing of all of us who will participate in this, and all who will be inducted, and for all who will see the Hall of Achievement over the years to come, that they may be inspired to live their life striving always for excellence and for devotion to you and bending their heart to your will. We ask our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. In this Jubilee year of our beloved Fatima College, I would like once again to acknowledge the foresight of the initiative of the Fatima College Hall of Achievement. We live in uncannily difficult times. And this is not only due to the current pandemic, but to the buildup of so many prevailing forces that seem to rob our youth of the idealism and altruism that are the foundation stones of success and achievement. Amidst this complex metaphysic, we hear the clarion call, strive and conquer, Nintendo vinces. Our Fatima motto, spurs us on to achievement in our chosen vocations. An achievement not merely for fame and fortune, but as an outcome of that perennial conquest over life's negative forces and the urgent need to chart a positive way forward to a renewed humanity. The Fatima Hall of Achievement seeks to capture that vision Achievement is never a one-off thing. Achievement is an ongoing process, a work in progress. There is no happily ever after in real time. It is said, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. We want to celebrate that continuous courage that leads to success and achievement. We want to kindle a new courage to face the challenges the world poses today. The Hall of Achievement is an effort to ignite the courage to stay on the road to success through the myriad vocations that Fatima boys have embraced. Our inductees are models that we can imitate. Have a plan, pursue a goal, live your dreams. Strive on, Fatima boys, strive on.
A very good evening and a warm digital welcome to our very special and esteemed participants and guests. And welcome as well to everyone joining us out there in Digital World. I'm Wendell Constantine. It's with a mixture of professional pleasure and Fatima Allboy's pride that I can promise you that we're in for an evening of happy history making. To start that happiness off, let's welcome two gentlemen who are right now in the starting blocks. They're the president and vice president of the Fatima All Boys Association. Here are Ruth Ben Thompson and Kevin Crosby. Thank you. Hi everyone. Welcome. It's great to be here with you on this, the auspicious occasion of Fatima College's third Hall of Achievement induction ceremony. This ceremony seeks to recognize excellence attained by the inductees, not only achieved through fame, but also those who've achieved recognition by virtue of embodying that which is Fatima, our ethos, Nintendo Vincennes, by striving, we conquer. Congratulations to all the inductees whose attributes range from the physical dexterity of sport to the mental acuity of the pioneers and innovators. From the dedication and commitment of those in the teaching and public service categories to the strategic acumen exhibited by our businessmen. From the devotion of those in the religious inductees to the flair and patriotism exhibited by those in the culture categories. We wish you congratulations, all of you. Hi, I'm Kevin Crossley, Senior Vice President of the Fatima Old Boys Association. As you're aware, this year we are also celebrating the 75th anniversary of the college's existence. To our inductees, we at FOBA truly hope that your achievements, as well as those of previous cohorts, continue to inspire both our students as well as our alumni to higher heights. As Ruth Venn has already touched on the tenets of the ceremony, please allow me some time to give you some insight into FOBA's operation. FOBA is a 98% volunteer operation with two paid staff. And no, it's not Junior nor myself. In our engine room, we have Mrs. Sandiford, who mans our secretariat, as well as Mrs. Thompson Fonset, who mans the gray pocket our college store. Everyone else gives freely of their time and talent, just as how it's been done since 1966 when FOBA was formed. Some of our accomplishments include a refurbished pavilion, the building of a mezzanine floor in the hall, the gray pocket, our college store, an entire new wing to facilitate an expanded Form 6. The implementation of a school-wide smart board program which facilitates enhanced learning as well as funding of various sporting programs within the college. So while what FOBA has done over the years may be new to you, the fact that FOBA and the college are forward-thinking, progressive entities is not. But progression and being progressive doesn't come cheap. There's a cost. So while I have your undivided attention, it seems like a good time to encourage you to get involved. Sign up. If you're an old boy, join FOBA. The contact information is on the screen. Answer the call and do your part. Support us in our various activities whether they be fundraising or camaraderie, so that you can ensure that we protect the present and fuel the future. And now that the sales pitch has been made, allow me to congratulate the school on its 75th year of greatness, and then return you to our real stars, the Hall of Achievement inductees. Thank you, Ruthven, and thank you, Kevin, our president and vice president, respectively. At this point, we move directly into our presentation, starting with the first category for which we've selected our inductees, education. And to make the presentation is Fatima Oldboy himself, Shad Seaton. This category is a category of education. 
word education comes from Latin word educere, meaning to lead one out of. As a Fatima old boy myself, I experienced being led out of ignorance, but being led into a place of where I understood things and later on understood myself. As a teacher now, the reality is I have to be able to teach, yes, but I have to be able to educate our boys so that they are led into a place where they understand humanity and understand themselves. It is my pleasure to present this award in the category of education. It is important that all people in our beautiful republic experience that reality. Mervyn Moore Education recognized posthumously. In 1981, Mervyn Moore took the post of principal on the resignation of another legend, Clive Panton. Mervyn Moore had an egalitarian leadership style and empowered his deans and teachers, encouraging them to develop relationships with their students, the objective being to develop trust and confidence. Mervyn Moore was active in the St. John's chapter of the St. Vincent de Paul Society, for which he was their long-serving treasurer. Mervyn Moore. Good evening. I wish to graciously accept this award on behalf of Mervyn Moore and our family. I wish to thank the Fatima Old Boys Association and their tireless efforts to recognize the outstanding contributions made by members of the Fatima family. I wish to thank the staff who encouraged, supported, and nurtured Mervyn during and over his life's journey. Mervyn always saw the best in each of us, and his life journey was that of developing that bright spark within us. We know that with God, all things are possible, so that we know that Fatima College will continue to produce and develop the bright spark in young men of Trinidad and Tobago. Once again, thank you very much. Keith Simpson, Education, historian of Fatima College, former manager St. James Tripolian Steel Orchestra, founding member, secretary, and arranger of the Nestle Ambassador Steel Orchestra, honored by the St. Mary's RC Parish with the Community Service Award, honored by the We Beat Organization for Contribution to Culture and by the Northern Region of Pan Trinbago, also selected by the National Carnival Commission to travel to the United States to conduct sessions on the history of the fancy sailor. Keith Simpson. I would like to thank the Fatima Old Boys Association and also Fatima College for inducting me to the Hall of Fame and, pro and, and providing me this award. On reflection, I would like to thank the pioneers, Holy Ghost Fathers, Father Byrne, Father Ryan, and our own very Father Gregory Augustine. College has done well. A college is not measured by the amount of intercalls they win, but the type of students that we have produced. And we have produced international world beaters, cricket, athletics, and so. Um, Fatima has done well. They have produced, as I said, many top students. And again, I would like to thank Fatima College and the Old Boys Association for Dr. Me the Hall of Fame and this award. Finally, I'd like to say to the boys in college, strive on, Fatima boys, strive on. With congratulations all round, we move on to our second category, the exciting field of sport. And for that presentation, we really can't do much better than have an outstanding all-round sportsman and fellow inductee. Please welcome Alvin Cornille. Clyde Panton was my Spanish teacher. And Joey Carew and myself were best friends, so we were in the class sitting together. And the first, the first day in a new term, he came into class and he said, Hey, I hope you guys had a good time. I, I want to point out a few outstanding people to you and, and you'd know who they are. We both felt a little bit comfortable because we were in the cricket youth teams and so on. He said, okay, Alvin, you go to that door. You go to that door. And he said, see them? They're standing out. He said, I didn't mean anything about their careers. 
I meant that where they should be because they talk too much. And I enjoyed that and I enjoyed so many other things. I wish to thank Fatima College for asking me to say this simply because the message that I want to give to them is everything that a kid comes in to do at school should be something that's going to better his future. If he's going to place, if he's going to swim, let him swim to be an Olympic swimmer. If he's going to do anything, the commitment is the same. Having fun is, is just as energetic as, as going into it and having a, a, a time where you could live and diet. I would think that extracurricular activity must be added to the school curriculum. I, I hope that they do it well. And to the guys whom I have had the honor of being with and seeing all over the, the country and sometimes over the world, I'm happy for this 75th anniversary. I'm happy all of us are. And we certainly hope for the kids that the corona virus would not harm them, neither would it harm their parents. But I certainly congratulate Fatima College. Thank you, Alvin. Our inductees in the category of sport are Garnet Craig, sport. At high school, Fatima under 14, soccer and cricket. At Fatima first 11, soccer and cricket, including intercollegiate national soccer champions. Played in several club teams. At collegiate level, the All Sunbelt Conference first team in 1982 from the University of South Florida. And at national team level, the TNT National Under-19 and the TNT National Team, including Player of the Tournament in 1986 from the Caribbean Football Union, Garnet Craig. It's, it's with great honor and humility I accept this achievement award. I remember coming to Fatima College as a tall skinny kid and perfectly leaving as a tall skinny kid. But there was so much growth and development that occurred in those years in between. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my fellow students, faculty and staff for not only the fun times, but also the knowledge, guidance and yes, coaching that I received while there. That served not only as a great foundation, but a springboard into my future endeavors. I remember <laughs> doing my A-level biology um, and principal panting just whispering into my head, you're coming back next year, right? I had already been accepted to college in the US, but I said, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll be back. That year, we not only won the Northern Intercal Championship against our nemesis, John Donaldson, we also went on to beat St. Augustine and Signal Hill to become the Trinidad and Tobago champions in Intercal that year. So again, it's with great humility I accept this award and also appreciation of the opportunity that was given to me to leave an indelible footprint of my alma mater. Thank you. Ronald Simmons, Sport. Ronald Simmons is from the Howard University class of 87, although he attended Fatima High School in the early 80s, earned a bachelor's in business management, was a pro soccer player for the Washington Diplomats, the Washington Warthogs, and Baltimore Blast, a former member of the Trinidad and Tobago National Junior and Senior Football Teams. Roger Simmons is currently a senior lead housing inspector in Baltimore City. Ronald Simmons. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ronald Simmons. I am very excited and humble to receive this prestigious award and to accept the induction into the Fatima Old Boys Association Hall of Achievement. Thank you very much. And guys, please stay safe and healthy and wear a mask. Mark Jeremy, Sport. Mark Jeremy was on the victorious 1981 North Zone Intercall Championship and National Intercall Runners-Up Team. He was awarded a football scholarship to Howard University to study civil engineering. He graduated cum laude in civil engineering at undergraduate and master's levels and lectured as an adjunct lecturer in civil engineering at Howard University. On his return to Trinidad and Tobago in the national under-19 football team, Trinidad and Tobago won the Caribbean Football Union under-19 tournament which was hosted by Suriname in 1984. Mark Jeremy has been involved in many expansion projects at Fatima College including the new sixth form technology and vocational studies block. Mark Jeremy. 
I would like to thank Fatima Old Boys Association for inducting me into the 2020 Hall of Achievements for Fatima College. I would also like to congratulate the, my fellow inductees into the 2020 Hall of Achievements. I had a great time at school and also in my sporting activities at Fatima. I was fortunate to be selected onto the national under 19 football team and following that receiving a soccer scholarship to our university where I pursued an undergraduate and master's degree in civil engineering. I'm also extremely proud of participating in projects at Fatima, namely the sixth form block and also tech and vocational studies. That allowed me to give back to Fatima College what I believe Fatima had given to me, which was opportunities to succeed in my career. Again, I am very grateful and thankful to Fatima College. Thank you. With our congratulations, we move on to our third category, the happiness place of arts and culture. For that, we've got a brand name in the field. Ladies and gentlemen, second star. Well, we're here to deal a little serious, but a little more relaxed than before. We're coming to talk about arts and culture and welcome all our inductees into the Hall of Achievement. Thank you to Fobo for asking me, the young second star, you know, vibrant entertainer, um, son of Dennis Franklin Williams, the merchant. And for me, coming to Fatima definitely shaped me not only into a musician, but into a businessman in the world of music. And from since school to this present day, Fatima has supported me in a major way. I mean, Second Sunday, one of the flagship events of the carnival season is done in Fatima grounds. And then since before I even got my major break, I have been performing within the all-inclusive, the very, the very beautiful and great all-inclusive. So it's an honor for me to be here to welcome inductees and hopefully one day I can work hard enough where I can be in the position that they're in. Welcome all the new inductees into the Fatima Hall of Achievement for the year 2020 in the category of Arts and Culture. Ray Holman, Arts and Culture. Recipient of the Hummingbird Medal Silver for contribution to the development of music for the steel pan. Winner of the soloist competition in the 1964 Steel Band Music Festival, becoming the youngest player at the age of 20 to accomplish this feat. Achieved panorama history, becoming the first man to compose, arrange and play his own tune after Starlift played Pan on the Move and placed third in the National Panorama Finals. Stayed at Starlift until 1974 before becoming a freelance arranger for several bands including Exodus, Pandemonium, Tokyo, Phase 2 Pan Group, Hummingbirds Odyssey Pan Group and Power Stars. Ray Holman. To the Fatima Old Boys Association, I want to express my heartfelt thanks for this award that you have bestowed upon me today. And I want to thank you for all the hard work that you all have been doing over the years to keep the Old Boys Association going and to keep the connection between the past, the present, and the future. So giving me this award, I hope will inspire the students who are the college at present and students who are about to come in and be, will keep coming to surpass achievements such as mine and the many others whom you all have honored to be. Thank you very much. Selwyn Garraway, Arts and Culture. Selwyn Garraway is an accomplished watercolor painter and illustrator specializing in watercolors of landscapes, historic and vernacular architecture, and private commissions of house portraits. Selwyn obtained his Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from the School of the Arts Institute of Chicago, and his paintings have been exhibited at, among others, the Trinidad and Tobago National Museum and Art Gallery, the National Arts Club, and Salamagundi Club in New York City. His art career spans some 40 years, and he resides in New York City, where he also has his art studio. Selwyn Garraway. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I first would like to thank the Fatima Old Boys Association for this award, for which I'm extremely grateful. And I'm happy that the association has broad consideration to include arts and culture recipients in its inductees. I am more than happy today to share with you this beautiful and stunning award, which will always have a special place in my heart and on my shelf. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you. Here to perform now is the Fatima College Junior Steel Band.
And now, the Fatima College Senior Steel Band.
outstanding. Our thanks to the Fatima College Steel Orchestra for that interlude. Now we move into our fourth category, the essential domain of religion. Our inductees for this category are Father Matthew DeRoe, Religion, holder of a BSc Sociology and Psychology from the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, Licensure in Moral Theology from the Alphonsian Academy in Rome, and Doctorate in Moral Theology from the Catholic Social Teaching Alphonsian Academy in Rome, Father Matthew DeRoe. I'm so happy, honored, humble, elated to be inducted into the Fatima College Hall of Achievement. This wow, this is a wow moment for me. And I want to thank the decision makers. I want to thank everyone associated with this, uh, this achievement. And, and most of all, to thank the Holy Ghost Fathers for 75 years, to thank teachers, past principals, I remember my days at Fatima College, 85 to 92. I want to hail out all my fellow students, class of, class of 90, class of 92. We came in and won one in, in 1985. Wonderful years. And uh, just uh, let's keep the, the spirit of Fatima, the Fatima family, keep it high, keep the faith, spread the faith, and let's uh, do what we can to make Trinidad and Tobago a better place. And my advice to all students, continue to contribute to this beloved nation as much as the or thousands and thousands of other students over the past 75 years have contributed to making Trinidad and Tobago a better place. Fatima College, you're great. Father Garvin Augustine, Religion. Executive Director of the Mustard Seed Communities International based in Kingston, Jamaica, responsible for the management and leadership of over 20 homes which care for children who are disabled and abandoned, those living with HIV AIDS, and pregnant teens and their babies. Father Garvin is also a member of the Board of Directors of the MSC USA and MSC Ireland, which oversee the financial sustainability of the organization. Father Garvin studies at the Pontifical Beda College in Rome from 2007 to 2010, earning a degree in theology, and was ordained to the priesthood for the Archdiocese of Kingston, Jamaica, in 2011. Father Garvin Augustine. It is truly an honor to be inducted into the Fatima Old Boys Association Hall of Achievement. I want to thank you for this uh, recognition. I also want to congratulate all the other recipients and I pray that God will continue to bless all of us, that we continue to make Fatima College proud by our achievements. God bless you and thank you very much. With the additional blessings that we've received this evening, we now move into our fifth category, the place where a good spirit is so essential, public service. And for that, our presenter is a Fatima old boy who has been a public servant many times over. Please welcome Anthony Smart. I wish to thank the Fatima Old Boys Association for inviting me to present the Hall of Achievement Awards in the category of public service for the year 2020. The vast majority of public servants work tirelessly without expectation of any kind of award or recognition. And indeed, most of them get no recognition. They give because it is in their nature to do so and because they have been trained to do so. And we at Fatima College recognize the contribution of these persons who were no doubt influenced by their time spent in the hallowed halls of Fatima College. So it is with great pleasure that I welcome the new inductees for 2020 into the Fatima College Hall of Achievement in the category of public service. Thank you, Anthony Smart. Our inductees in the category of public service are Howard Chinley, Public Service, youngest chairman of the Tourism Development Company, awarded the Caribbean Entrepreneur of the Year Award from Ernst & Young, former Minister of National Security in the Government of Trinidad and Tobago, Minister of Tourism in the Government of Trinidad and Tobago, forming the Tourism Development Company, and former Chairman of the National Carnival Commission. 
Howard Chinley. Wow, what an honor this is to have received and become an inductee in the Hall of Achievement from my peers and members of the Fatima Old Boys Association. The last time I sat in these hallowed halls uh, was some 40 years ago as a student of Fatima. And in those days, I recall uh, Father Giro, who was the head of the Scouts, Mr. Clive Pantin, who was then principal, all of whom has played a critical role in who I am today. So I want to take this moment, having received this honor, to thank all of them. And of course, to thank all of my teachers, all of, the, uh, all of my peers and my friends who remain my friends to today, that Fatima has played a great foundation in what and who I am today. So I want to receive this great honor and thank members of FUBA for giving me this award. I thank you. Dr. Fuad Khan, Public Service. Dr. Fuad Khan first entered Parliament as the elected member for Barrett Area San Juan in 1995 a position he would retain on three subsequent occasions until 2007 under the United National Congress. Dr. Khan was appointed Deputy Speaker of the Fifth Republican Parliament from 1995 to 2001, former Minister in the Ministry of Health, and is a medical doctor specializing in urology. Dr. Fuad Khan. Today is a very important day for me to be chosen by the Fatima Old Boys Association for this wonderful achievement award makes me feel humbled and grateful to have been part of the Fatima's system. And to be 50 years on, it is even better after looking back over the years and understanding what I have achieved and to see it recognized by the old boys of Fatima, I am extremely humbled and grateful. And today, I want to thank the people of Fatima College who have brought me to this level, the priests, the teachers, and all the alumni that make us feel proud to be a Fatima old boy myself. Ian Benjamin, Public Service. Ian Benjamin serves as a volunteer director of the Holy Ghost Board of Management, the Foundation for Human Development, United Way Trinidad and Tobago, and the Trinidad Karate Association. Ian Benjamin is a past president of the Fatima Old Boys Association and also serves on the board of Republic Financial Holdings Limited. Head of Bethany Chambers, practicing as an advocate attorney before the Superior Courts of Trinidad and Tobago, Dominica, Anguilla and Grenada, including before the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council. Ian Benjamin has taught law at Kingston University, the University of Sydney, Australia, and at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. Ian Benjamin. Good evening, and thank you. Thank you for this incredible honor, um, for my, I suppose, so-called achievements. None of that would have been possible without the incredible teachers that I was privileged to be taught by during my time here at Fatima. Um, and equally, um, the brotherhood that I became a part of, my year group, the guys who I was in class with, who, with whom I had fun, played football together, and they very much molded me into the person that I am today. And then finally, my involvement and work with the Fatima Old Boys Association connected me with the generation of Fatima College boys who were ahead of me and behind me. And I'm incredibly proud of the work that they continue to do. Thank you very much for this privilege. Thank you very much for this honor. Murchison Brown, Public Service, honored to be the longest serving mayor of the city of Port of Spain, recipient of the Gandhi King Ikeda International Award for Community Service. Official citation from Kingston and St. Andrews Corporation in Jamaica and keys to the city of Kingston. Recognized by the mayor and council of the city of Boston and keys to the city of St. Catharines, Ontario. Awarded Father of the Nation Medal of Honor in 2012 by the Dr. Eric Williams Memorial Committee and recognized for long, exceptional, and meritorious service to the political party, the People's National Movement, on its 63rd anniversary. Murchison Brown. I want to express my appreciation to the Fatima Old Boys Association for paying me this honor. It is indeed an honor. It is a surprise. I was very pleasantly surprised. And it's something that I will always cherish and always remember. So once again, thanks 
to the Fatima Old Boys Association and may God continue to bless you as you continue to do your good work of honoring those who would have done some achievements in this country. Thank you very much. Dr. Henry Bedesi, Public Service, renowned neurologist with successful practice at the West Shore Medical Center and co-author of a paper published for the University of Toronto in the World Journal of Surgery in October 1996, Dr. Henry Bedesi. Honored guests, esteemed colleagues, members of the Fatima Old Boys Association. I thank you for this award given to me for my achievements and I am overjoyed and humbled by this award. My chosen field is neurosurgery, but I always say neurosurgery is what I did between dropping the children to school in the morning and picking them up in the afternoon. That included my son Bernard, who spent seven years at the institution, and my wife Marcia, who taught at the institution. I'd like to give thanks, first of all, to God, who made all of this possible. Secondly, to my family, who supported me in my endeavors. And thirdly, to my teachers, principal, classmates who I interacted with, with my, in my five years at the college. From public service to private sector, we move on to our sixth category, the world of business. And for that, our presenter is a Fatima old boy and one of our many distinguished scholars, Kyle Rudden. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kyle Rudden, and it's a privilege for me to be here this evening. I am a former inductee of the Fatima College Hall of Achievement. And what does it mean to be a member of that group? I'll tell you what it means. It means you have been recognized for visible success and contribution to society in some fields such as business. I'll tell you what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that you're any better than a good husband, a good friend, a good worker, a good employer, a good person. And that is what Fatima College is all about. It's about trying to produce young men that are good citizens. So now, once you become a member of this Hall of Achievement, you become part of that process. And generations of young men are going to be looking at you as role models in their journey. And that is a great honor and a great responsibility. It gives me great pleasure this evening to welcome the 2020 Business Category inductees into the Fatima College Hall of Achievement. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle Rudden. Our inductees in the category of business are Alfred Agitor, business. Broadcast journalist, trained at the BBC and Syracuse University School of Journalism. Co-founder, chairman and managing director of All Media Projects Limited, Ample. Former chairman of the National Carnival Commission. Director general of the Cary Festers in 1992 and 1995. Special Advisor to the Prime Minister, the Honorable Patrick Manning, in the sphere of communications, a former UNESCO Commissioner, recognized by the TNT Advertising Agencies Association in the Trinidad and Tobago Advertising Hall of Fame, and a Paul Harris Fellow awarded by the Rotary Foundation, Alfred Agitor. I've been told that I'm allowed to speak only for 30 seconds, so it's a song bite without any chewing in it or swallowing. So I've reduced it to two words at a time. Thanks, Fatima. Thanks, Fuba. I'm honored. I'm proud. I'm grateful. I'm indebted. Nintendo Venture. I'm finished. Christopher Camacho, Business. National Scholarship in the Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering from Duke University. Masters of Science in Medical Biophysics from the University of Toronto, focusing on MRI physics. Started the first MRI center in Port of Spain. 
His professional team and associated doctors pioneered several areas in the fields of medical imaging, interventional cardiology, and prostate oncology, and continue to be a vitally important service provider in our national healthcare system. Christopher Camacho. It's really with a deep sense of pride that I accept this award. And I first of all must thank Fuba and Father Gregory for this amazing recognition. I must admit, it's truly humbling to receive such an honor from an institution that you have so much respect for and one that is so nationally important. I must of course take the opportunity to recognize the unsung heroes, the fantastic teachers. They are the giants on whose shoulders we stand upon when later in life we go on to achieve success. I, for my part, will also like to acknowledge my amazing brothers of the special class of 1986. And as a young man, it's easy to be propelled towards excellence when you're surrounded by other young men who are driven towards excellence. I also must say how privileged I have been throughout my whole career to be surrounded by such outstanding doctors and staff who have always stood by my side. And finally, and last but no least, I have to thank God for all that I have been blessed with. And of course, my wonderful family, and especially my late parents and my wonderful wife, without whose support, I could not achieve anything. Thank you all. We're having a delightful evening with you. Now for our seventh and final category, we ask the question, where would we be without those Fatima men who broke the mold, literally went beyond the boundary? the category Pioneers and Innovators. And for that, our presenter is a Fatima old boy, a celebrated inductee himself and a world-renowned achiever, Professor John Agard. It is my pleasure to welcome the new inductees into the Fatima Old Boys Hall of Achievement. Uh, innovation is a very critically important area in the current circumstances really want to push and, and help and also to acknowledge those who help with innovation. Uh, in the current circumstances, young people need to know how to turn their ideas into action. Uh, instead of uh, giving off your ideas to someone else, if you have an opportunity to really uh, create jobs, uh, employ other persons and make some money, that would be very critically important. So I end by warmly welcoming uh, those in the new Fatima Old Boys Hall of Achievement in the area of innovation. Thanks very much. Thank you, Professor John Agard. Our inductees in the category of pioneers and innovators are Dexter Headley, Innovators. Dexter earned combined PhD and MD doctorates from the Ivy League University of Pennsylvania, starting an academic career in precision medicine. He trained at the Stanford University and went on to become faculty at the University of California, San Francisco, winning multi-million dollar grants from the U.S. National Institutes of Health to develop machine learning for clinical applications. He currently is the founding chief of artificial intelligence at the University of Central Florida College of Medicine and founder of Fizero Genomics, the region's first personalized genomics startup working to develop precision medicine programs for the Caribbean. Dexter Headley. I am honored to accept this award to be inducted into the Fatima Old Boys Association Hall of Achievement. I have to thank my parents, Pearl and Leonard Hadley, for not only giving me the opportunities, but inspiring in me a sense of ambition that I could later build on. I'm thankful that Fatima groomed that sense of ambition into a passion that by striving, I could conquer the world and leave it a better place than I found it. That early start at Fatima College blossomed into a fruitful career in science and medicine that ultimately allows me to do just that while taking care of my family. And finally, I'm thankful to that family, to my wife, who's ironically named Fatima as well, <laughs> and my three girls, Maya, Eva, and Aaliyah, that continue to fuel that passion to make this world a better place. I look forward to inspiring the future generation of Fatima boys that by striving, we can definitely conquer. Thank you, thank you. Roger Mark D'Souza, Innovators. 
Roger Mark D'Souza holds graduate degrees in International Relations and Development Policy from George Washington University and the Institute of International Relations at the University of the West Indies in Trinidad. He currently serves on the executive team in the United States documenting human rights abuses and directing Amnesty International's work to deepen the engagement of its membership. Roger Mark D'Souza possesses a deep personal commitment to and passion for issues that affect human welfare such as human rights, peace building, climate resilience, reproductive health and women's empowerment. Roger Mark D'Souza Hello, I'm Roger Mark D'Souza and I wanted to thank the Fatima Old Boys Association for this, this recognition. This is really important to me. I remember when I was at Fatima, I felt so lucky to be a Fatima boy and felt that we had a special responsibility to go out into the world and to try and make a difference. Fatima's motto, Nintendo Vinces, by striving you conquer, is one that I've carried into my life, into my work, and that I've passed on to my sons. To my fellow inductees, I say congratulations. It's good to be here with you. And as we come together to celebrate this moment, we remember that special line from our school song, Fatima Boys, Strive On. Dr. Stephen Lakis, Innovators. Dr. Lakis has been providing care for the residents of Lee, Collier, Charlotte counties and beyond since 2002 and in that time has performed more than 30,000 surgeries. Dr. Leakey specializes in eyelid surgery, brow lifts, eyelid malposition, skin cancer on the face and eyelids, thyroid eye disease, tearing issues, orbital cancers, and orbital trauma. He performs more common procedures such as surgeries in correcting eyelids, skin cancers, eye socket tumors, or tear duct damage. He still finds time to serve as Chief of Ophthalmology for the Lee Memorial Health Systems and to teach occasionally at the University of South Florida. Dr. Lakees is a U.S. Medical Board Certified Practitioner and has been awarded the Fellow of American College of Surgeons, Fellow of American Academy of Ophthalmologists, voted as one of America's top doctors by Gulf Shore Life magazine and named as SuperDoc by SuperDoc.com. Dr. Stephen Lakees. Hi, my name is Stephen Lakees. I'm class of 1998, Fatima College. Um, and I want to just thank everybody for receiving this award. And I'm, I'm honored and happy to speak to all the young Fatima boys to give them sort of my background and things that they could look for as their future progresses. Um, I am what you call an oculoplastic surgeon. So what I did was, after leaving Fatima in 1988, I went to Boston University. Shortly after that, I went to New York for medical school, and then I did a residency in basic eye surgery or ophthalmology, followed by a subspecialty in ophthalmic plastic and orbital surgery. Um, I've been in practice now um, 18 years and have done very well and are very successful most of which I can attribute to my years of Fatima, which has taught me hard work, dedication, studying, and all the things that are needed in order to succeed in this world. Um, all of you should be very honored to be a part of Fatima and to be admitted to high school there. And I think they'll give you all a great opportunity as life progresses. Um, as it does, never forget that Fatima boys always answer to their call and um, strive on everybody. Thanks. So there you have it, an enviable bunch of 19 Fatima Old Boys inducted this evening into our Fatima Old Boys Association's Hall of Achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, our esteemed college this year is 75 years old, a diamond occasion indeed. 75 years ago, we began as a diamond in the rough. You could say a whole new college all squeezed up in a single classroom at St. Teresa's Convent in Woodbrook. Now, we can say that history has caught up with these 19 fine men of Fatima College to place them in the hallowed hall where they belong in honor of how pricelessly they have served this institution and our country. And how unforgettably they have given their inspiration to Fatima old boys of our past and Fatima new boys in our future. We thank all who have made this evening possible. We thank you for joining us virtually. And in the spirit of Fatima College, strive on Fatima boys, strive on. Good night.
Let's welcome the Fatima College Senior Choir. And now, let's join together as we sing the Fatima College school song. Fatima boys, come answer to the call. From far and wide, shoulder to shoulder, ever marching on. God be our guide. 